1320 WILS, one of the most uh, insightful gun surveys to date, just out from Harvard. We're joined by Edwin Walker, program attorney at U.S. Law Shield. Find him at uslawshield.com. Edwin, thank you for joining us on WILS. Well, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. I mean, let me start with a number. 3% of U.S. adults own half of the country's guns. Well, what did you think of that number? Well, what did you make of that? Well, I think it's, I, I think that it, there, there's clearly not a study that's more politically motivated than this one. Um, if, in fact, it's true, I mean, we have no idea what pool they surveyed from, mm-hmm. you know, who they surveyed, how many people like they four, surveyed. I think it was 4,000. I think it was 4,000. Do, do you not believe that is in any way accurate then? Or? Well, I... N- my gut tells me that it's not accurate because, I mean, I don't know what kind of crowd I hang out with, but everybody I know owns more than, you know, owns, uh, I don't know, they would fall into that group of what do they call them, super collectors? Yeah, the, the super, super owners. owners. About, they said about 7.7 7 million Americans where they have anywhere from 8 to 140 guns. On average, they own 17 guns apiece. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, well, most people I know uh, own at least 10. So I guess they're in that group of super owners. And the thing about it is, just to show you how this, this study could have only been motivated for political purposes, uh, the first time I read, I read about this, I guess maybe it was early la- late last week or early this week, and it was from a gun control advocacy group. And basically the headline is, we should not be afraid of gun owners because they have no political power because there's not that many of them out there. Yeah, well, the, so that, the, that survey, the, purpose. the survey says as Americans who own guns, the, the percentage came down from 1994 to 2015 from 25% to uh, now 22% of Americans own guns. Do you think that's close? Well, like, again, we'd have to see, did they include children? Did they include the elderly? I mean, how many, you know, if you're judging against the population as a whole, uh, I think that we've probably grown exponentially in population, and so that may be what's contributing to the skewed numbers. Also, you would think that, that the gun control folks, since one of their primary advocacy points is that we should limit who has the right to possess guns, that they should do this as a positive. Hey, look, you know, if you're, uh, there's fewer people who are eligible to unknowns that, that uh, out there. Uh, therefore, you know, the laws are doing their job. Mm-hmm. But it's really kind of odd that here in America we are having a, uh, you know, the, basically this, is gonna re- this discussion is going to devolve down into, uh, well, why do you need so many guns? Well, but let me just uh, say this. Edwin Walker with us on 1320 WILS, the, the lead author, Deb Ezreal from uh, Harvard, she says that when it comes to the reasoning, quote, when I look at our survey, she says what I see is a population – that is living in fear. They're buying handguns to protect to protect themselves against bad guys. They store their guns ready to use because of bad guys. They believe their guns make them safer. Do you think she's correct there? Well, I think that there's a certain degree of that. And the thing about it is, is that is that, that there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think that that's a that's a bad motive to have so many guns. For example, now I will say I do not have children, and so don't think that you know that. Oh my God, you're putting children in, in jeopardy. But mm-hmm. but I'm a gun owner, and I have guns at various locations around my home because in the event I don't think that I'm overly paranoid, but in the event that I'm the victim of a home invasion. Um, you know, I'm not. I don't want. I don't want to have to carry it around with me while I'm in my own home. Well, but, but you know what she you know, says. She she what she downstairs, one in the kitchen. Right. What, what really in the kitchen? Like in the cupboard somewhere? Well, yeah. Uh-huh. Don't you? I, I, you know, well, then I don't know. I'm reaching for the pot. Next thing I know, uh, let me ask you this: because what she says is the central question for her is quote Who are they protecting themselves from? Do, do you have an answer for that? Well, I think that all you need to do is turn on the television and see that, you know, the, the top three stories of any given newscast is going to be somebody who is the victim of crime. And that's the thing about it is that while statistically crime, violent crime has gone down, mm-hmm. the fact of the matter is it still occurs. We have not eliminated it yet. Uh, uh, no, she, yeah, she does add that she thinks part of what's happening is that the uh, gun industry, their marketing is stoking people's fears. Do you think there, there's uh, something to that? Well, I know marketing is very unique, in which marketing, you know, yeah, marketing is going to get, you know, do whatever they think sells. 
Uh, but like I said, I don't think that there's anything fundamentally wrong with that. And also you have to look at the government itself has contributed to this uh, this, this, this spurt in gun ownership mm-hmm. because whenever you put it in the minds of people that the government is going to come and take something away or forbid you from getting something in the future, the natural human reaction is, well, what, the government's going to get it? I better go out and to get stock one of those. Have you, now, let me ask you, Edwin, because you say you have guns in different locations. Have, have you ever uh, had an intrusion into your home, a robbery of any kind? Or? Uh, knock on wood, I have not. Okay. However, when I continue to see them on the television, uh, that obviously it can happen to me. That's, you know, that, that's, that's one of the unfortunate realities is mm-hmm. that while the statistics may be low, nobody wants to be a statistic. Mm-hmm. So if these numbers are accurate, that uh, 3% of the U.S. adults own half the country's guns and really about 22% of the country uh, actually own, owns guns, does that change our understanding of, of uh, guns here in the U.S.? Well, I think that number is definitely low. I think that the 22% is definitely low, and that the only way you're going to get an accurate number is if you only count the percentage of population of people who of adults who are eligible to own guns. That is the population that should be surveyed. Because if we were to go, you know, if you were to conduct a survey of convicted felons, mm-hmm. uh, the number would be zero percent of those on guns. Um, and so, and so if you just, if you can, the only type of survey I think would have legitimacy is if they said, if they threw out everybody who was statutorily ineligible to own a firearm and then just surveyed the ones who had chosen to own one because they lawfully can't own one. That number is going to be much, much higher than 22%. Edwin Walker, program attorney for U.S. Law Shield. It's uslawshield.com, right here on 1320 WILS. Edwin, thank you very much. Well, thank you, sir, for having me. Thank you very much.